Hi everyone and welcome to JSA TV where we are coming to you today from the floor of Tech Capital's International Finance Forum here in the center, the heart of London. And I'm Barb Mitchell and I am pleased to be joined by Chris Miller who's the co-founder of Power Harvest Infrastructure. Thanks for joining us. You're very welcome, thank you for having me. Uh, excited to hear from you a little bit. Um, you know, we've stepped away for a few minutes to to connect here during a, a very busy day at the uh, International Finance Forum. Can you start first by just telling our viewers a little bit about your organization? Of course, yes. So Power Harvest Infrastructure, which is an acronym PHI fee. It's the 21st letter of the Greek alphabet, and it's about, uh, which is the golden ratio. It's about harnessing nature, uh, for the benefit of society um, uh, and, and technology for society. So we're a great believer of uh, making sure that we uh, have sustainability in the front and, uh, for front of and center of what we do. Uh, and when we say sustainability, it's just a word that's being abused, I think. Uh, economically sustainable, sustainable, environmentally sustainable, and ethically sustainable. That's what we're looking to do. So we're looking for locations in Europe, in, in the first instance, that have uh, a large excess of power grid power so that I think the world's in a, a bit of a dilemma of the end of the month versus the end of the world that's kind of where we're at so we're saying okay grid connected day one power go where the power is where it's generated uh, and over the course of that data center infrastructure project go to localized renewable carbon ne neutral energy technology so let's talk more about that just this need to be I mean everyone in this in the digital infrastructure space lately seems to be talking about power right yes. the uh, the shortage of power uh, or the need for it and so how would you you know speak a little bit further about that this need to balance the traditional available power with with other sources okay well the, the grids in the UK and, and pretty much elsewhere around the world except for certain pockets is strained uh, and constrained uh, and there's a demand for carbon neutral renewable energy uh, and what we're saying is well let's go where the power is generated in the first place where the grid has power available uh, and that's the clue information is power knowledge is power no power is power so go to the location where power is generated uh, grid connected and then look to accelerate carbon neutral renewable energy uh, localized power for the benefit of the data center investors and stakeholders, but also for local people. Uh, so reusing of the heat to local businesses, uh, district heating, uh, but you know, generating uh, local carbon neutral energy to support the grid and support local people. It, it's so important to to do all of this work with an eye to sustainability. And I, you know, one of the things we talk about power, but you know, stepping back a little bit prior to that is you know what's driving this this need and a lot of it is is attributed to the growth of AI and the expansion and so that brings with it you know you speak of AI and power and sustainability there are different narratives that start to emerge from this and I'm wondering if you could speak to how to get in front of some of those um, well I think AI is um, it's a relatively new sort of concept in terms of the public perception and data centers and there's a, a hype from the hyperscalers around what AI is required. And uh, so machine learning, which is large data center infrastructure, crunching numbers, uh, and then the delivery of that uh, uh, educated machine learning to inference, which is the edge. Um, but there's a massive requirement for uh, additional power capacity for this AI, uh, which is why we're saying go to where the power is generated now and stimulate localized renewable energy. So solar, wind, and moving forward, uh, small modular reactors, nuclear has a play at some point as well because it's, uh, it is carbon neutral. Um, so yeah, we just we think there's do something that matters with people that you like. That's what we're trying to do. So we're trying to, and when I say people that you like, people that you respect and trust. So we think that you've got to go to places where the local uh, where the power is available, and that quite often that's in remote areas, uh, and to stimulate growth and training of people in those local areas uh, is also part of the of, of the policy for this company. It's such an important conversation, and I know we only have a few minutes here, so I just I want to thank you for, first of all, taking some time out. Any final words that, you, that you'd that you like to share before we head back on to the rest of the show? Uh, no, I think it's just, uh, you know, make sure that you do something that matters with people that you like. Uh, and so we're pushing, you know, data centers have got a bad reputation in the industry. It's getting worse, I think, because they don't employ many people directly, and they're developing AI, and for the public perception, uh, that's a negative. What we're saying is that AI will remove the toil, it will create jobs, and new, and new industries will be, 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 be born out of this. 
much better way of, of telling that story. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks again for your time. We really appreciate it. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in to JSA TV, where we're talking today to leaders across the digital infrastructure space. Stay tuned, and until then, happy networking.